What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day, guys. And we got a little bit of a, a discussion. Sneakers, are they dead? Yeah, that's the title here, right? I wanted to, you know, have a sit down and talk to y'all because you know, typically I would say once or maybe once every other year we have a sneaker YouTube is dead, sneakers are dead, is this and that are dead, right? Well, I gotta say, I gotta be 100% honest, out of every single time, right? This gotta probably be one of the worst times uh, for sneakers as a content creator, but I will say that as a sneaker collector, this is probably one of the best times, right? Um, and I wanted to talk about the topic itself because I've seen it floating around, I've seen some videos on it before, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on where we're currently at in sneakers and sneaker culture and where we're potentially headed. So let's dive straight into it. I've been doing sneakers for 10 years now. So 2013 is when I started this channel and I've seen a lot of stuff going on, a lot of cycles, a lot of uh, new things, old things, a lot of things that were once cool become lame, then lame, then cool. It, a lot of changes within this uh, this culture or this game or community, whatever you want to call it, right? And you know, also within on the YouTube side, I feel like there's been a lot of changes as well. There was a time when runners were popping, and a time when runners were dead. There was a time when unboxings were the pinnacle of sneaker videos. Um, and then, of course, the hype beast time when Supreme and and Bape were uh, all time high, and people were buying in on Fragment collaborations and uh, Off White and all that. And then there was the sneaker resell, you know, situation, and everybody wanted to be a reseller. And now we're at a point now where every single sneaker is pretty much sitting on shelves, and every single sneaker you could pretty much get on sale. So what happened why happened and where we're at right well me personally i think what happened is one the people who came in you know back when youtube at least and sneakers were on his rise up well a lot of you know 15 16 year olds maybe 14 as well you had the people that were maybe 18 19 20 and then the older people as well that were in their 20s and 30s there was a lot of different segments what which were going in you know through sneakers at the time i think that 2000 17 18 19 we saw a surge in kids teenagers you know coming in and wanting to be a part of the sneaker culture and that itself those kids got older and the kids that would typically think that would come and replace them no those kids have a whole different type of hobby and things that they like you know kids nowadays they don't really care too much about sneakers as much my little brother who's 17 you know, even when he was 15, 16, he wasn't ever really big into sneakers. He was big into game, you know, gaming or big into PCs and all that. Like that's the things that kind of have grew up. You know, the Tfus, the, the 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 ninjas. Those are the things that were popular for kids. And then now, now those kids have grown up, and now you got the Kai Sanats and the Neons and the Aiden Rosses that these younger kids are watching. Not the Tony D. Two Wilds or the Seth Fowlers or the Kaiso Mars, like the younger kids. Those kids now are grown ups, 20, 21, 22 in college or involved in sneakers, sports. Hell, I've even had people that watch me on my gun channel now. So we just see a lot of the customer base for sneakers make a shift as well. And you see some people that have stuck along the whole entire ride, you know, been here for 10 years, 10 years plus, that have not made a difference or not have made a change and they're still here for that at the end of the day. Also though, those younger kids also saw that there was money to be made in this way and they became resellers. And I think the abundance of resellers came with the abundance of competition, which then in turn into the abundance of people cutting people, people trying to get the shoe first, people trying to sell a shoe first. And I think that's where we're currently at now with sneakers. I feel like every single shoe um, they're making too many pairs of them. That's one for certain. And there's too many releases going on each and every week. Along with the fact that people don't got $210, $200 each and every week to drop on a pair of shoe. People are making more specific picks and opinions and options at the end of the day on what shoe they want to decide, whether they want to buy one shoe a month or they might not buy nothing. Whereas it used to be almost every single release someone was hopping on it. So we have a lot of stuff going on 
and the economy that plays part in this. The price points have went up $30 in the past 10 years and they continue to rise as well. And that's just on some releases. I mean, we got $250 Jordans now, but a lot of that plays part into where we're at now where everything's pretty much sitting and everything's pretty much going for below retail if you just sit and wait or go into secondary markets and buy on release date. The yellow ochres, I keep saying ochres, but the yellow ochre that dropped the Jordan 1 were going for $140 before they even released. Why? Because resellers are getting them and stores are getting them. I think there's a lot of bad, bad business going on within stores as well where they're not selling these shoes. So they're trying to get them off before everyone else can at a price that they still can make a profit on. I, I, I think that goes on with some of these shops. And then, or if anything, they offer them to resellers who then do the dirty work for them. The reselling game, it's been at all time high as far as the oversaturation. And with the oversaturation, once again, as I stated, you have an over competitive market, which is not bad for us as buyers, but you have people constantly undercutting. So it appears to some people that things may be dead. And hell, even on my channel, my views right now have been at an all time low. I would say not, well, maybe not all time low, but definitely the lowest has been in the past five years. You would think that with more people being able to get more shoes with the availability being way more available as well. Everybody can get a yellow ochre. Everybody can get a Jordan 6 ochre. Everybody can get a Jordan 3 crab. You would think that the availability of these shoes now being able to be bought will cause more people to go watch those videos. And that's just not the case. At the same time, may, maybe it's me. Maybe you guys are tired of me at the end of the day. Maybe I'm fake to you. I don't know. Whatever your opinion on me at the end of the day, that's perfectly fine. People like Seth Fowler, people like Nightwing, people like Elliot Page, three people that I know that can consistently drop content and get over 30 to 40,000 views. That lets me know at least that the sneaker game, it's not really dead. It's just dead to certain audiences. My audience, the audience that maybe had came in during the hype beast pandemic, maybe those guys have moved on. And that's why my views are low because that younger audience has moved on. Maybe uh, people that watch Nightwing are more older. He may connect more with his audience as well. Who knows at the end of the day, but those are things that I pay attention to engage as well. Um, that's just something that me, I have to continue to push through, continue to grind out and, and find and achieve that audience. But based upon my views or someone else's views, two, three other people's views, and I mean views as in their view count, I can't dictate that that means that the sneaker game is dead. You look at places like Twitter, you see it's flourishing. People love sneakers at the end of the day. People talk about sneakers at the end of the day. And at the same time, the way we digest content also at the end of the day is different. People might wanna watch a short rather than watch a video. People might wanna read an article than watch a long form video. So I think that when we tend to look at what make sneakers dead or not, I don't think we need to base it more so off of what a content creator or a viewership is at the end of the day. I think that last year, in my opinion, was a very dope year, probably one of the best sneaker years as far as releases, availability and everything that we've seen in quite some time. I just think that honestly, the biggest issues that the brand's got to figure out is one, the price points, they're just horrendous. And two, maybe not make as many pairs. You not making as many pairs, I think will help with their numbers. And then, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm speaking from the business standpoint of Nike, because I feel like they are not doing well as they want to make it seem. I mean, they're still making their bread. At the end of the day, whatever the price we're paying, we're paying $200, right? It takes Nike maybe one fourth of that to make the shoe. So when you look at that, it's like 50 bucks. They make $50 and then you times that by four and then you got yourself $200. That's kind of how usual warehouse fulfillment works. Products 50 bucks, you sell it to wholesalers at double the markup, so $100, and then they sell it to the consumer for $100. That's 200 in total. That's usually how something like that you know, happens and works. So yeah, do I think sneakers are dead? Once again, no. I think we're going through a very transitional period that we're just gonna have to wait and see and watch. And even me as a creator have to just wait and see and watch. At the end of the day, I mean, we got tons of dope releases coming out this year. I think that this year is gonna be a very nice year as well. And I'm happy where I'm at, man. Um, views low, views whatever, like I'm happy, bro. Like at the end of the day, I make content around stuff that I love and it is what it is. Um, I just, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm content with where I'm at. Do I want to see more growth within my channel? Do I want to see more growth within sneakers? Yeah. 
I would love things to pick back up and that excitement, you know, come back along with it as well. But um, if this is where it's at, it is where it's, it's, this is what it is. I've been more accepting for what I can't control at the end of the day. And if my best days were uh, back then, at least for that, it is what it is. I got way more of the things that I'm excited that I'm working on, other channels that I'm working on as well. And um, I kind of just wanted to sit down and touch base with you guys. January was a very slow month. I think February is definitely going to pick up. All-Star Weekend's coming up around the corner, too. Um, we got Reimagines. We got a lot of uh, KDs, a lot of, a lot of exciting things coming on. But I, I wanted to let it be known that I don't think that sneakers are dead. I don't think that sneaker YouTube is dead. Um, I just think that we're in a transitional period once again. And I wanted to let you guys know that I am, uh, I'm here. I'm still pushing. Um, I'm not upset, I'm not bored. It's none of those typical ones where we make where I'm like, man, I wanna do better content. Let me know what I need to do. Nah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm making my content at the end of the day and uh, putting it out for you guys. And uh, feel free to let me know how you guys' thoughts and opinions on the sneaker, the sneaker game right now in general. I personally think though, I'm looking at it from one side and another, right? I want excitement back. I want people excited about shoes. People constantly taking L's, that's just not gonna make that happen. At the same time, I don't want people constantly saying brick, 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 there's a brick, there's a JR, there's a trash. I want people to be excited. But at the same time, I don't, I know if you, I know if it's a shoe that drops that you're excited about, more than likely it's a shoe that you're not gonna be obtained. So it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a revolving door. You got a fire shoe, the fire shoe you want, the fire shoe you can't get, the fire shoe then you say is a brick, the fire shoe you now you're pissed off, then Nike drops a shoe that is available to everybody. You don't want it. It sits. It goes below. It's like the shoes you want is the shoes that everybody wants. The shoes you don't want is the shoes that nobody wants. It's it's a revolving door. I sit here and watch, you know, KD's or LeBron 8 Hardwood Classics that were once PEs. LeBron Palmers that were once PEs going for $800,000 to $1,000 sitting now as a retro that lets me know that there's a difference of opinion, viewership, you know, customer base. Things have changed. And um, the same people that say yell bricks, I know it's also the same people that cry when they can't hit on their off-whites. It's a funny game right now, bro, at the end of the day. But I wanted to sit down and chop to y'all, you know, just talk to y'all about it. Make it something very, you know, very simple to digest. Um, I'm going to be making some videos on uh, Too Wild for TV today. I think there was also like a little uh, burglary that happened at Project Blitz. So I'm gonna go over that. If you wanna go over there to that channel, I will link it down below in the description. That video should probably be up before this video. So it should already be up now. Just check the link down below. And uh, yeah, I wanted to end this video on the 30th. Or actually, we got one more day of January. Damn, I'm gonna drop it on the 30th. But I wanna go into February full steam ahead. So we'll drop this today, take tomorrow off come back on uh, Thursday and we're going to be going full fledged. We might we might drop something on Wednesday, who knows, but I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. And let me know. Let's talk down below in the description, man. Let's have a little, in, the, in the comments. Let's have a little little discussion, all right? I'm out. Peace.